What is the mark of the beast? Oh, boy, we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads. It's either or. There's so much confusion on this topic, I need a whole class. I've seen people tell me, Every single new scientific development is the mark of the beast. I've been doing this for 40 years. There's been more marks of the beast accused of, of all kinds of things. It's probably the least understood and exaggerated prophecies in all the Bible. And the COVID vaccination program is not the mark of the beast. And Bill Gates is not the Antichrist. Leave the guy alone. No. No. Look, the Mark campaign does not involve the church. Can I get a hallelujah? The Mark campaign begins in the middle of the tribulation, for starters. If you go to that next slide, Scott, you can see, can you find the rapture up there on the left? The church today, the rapture, Antichrist comes in the middle of the tribulation. All right? Revelation 13, 5, the beast was given a mouth to other proud words and blasphemies and to exercise it for 42 months. The, the, the marking campaign of the mark of the beast begins in the middle of the tribulation. So nothing happening today has anything to do with it. The mark of the beast is not artificial intelligence. It's not a mark on the forehead, like that picture. I love the guy on the bottom right. <laughs> there he is. It's not a tattoo. The mark of the beast, you're going to hate this. You're going to, this is just going to kill you a lot of it. It has nothing to do with technology. <laughs> the word mark is the word in Greek, icon. The swastika was an icon of, of the empire. These two marks that you're looking at are evil systems against the Jews. Now let's get this straight. The mark is an icon. That could be a badge on your arm. That could be a police badge is an icon of the police department. That's the Greek word. Okay, that's the mark. What's the beast? The beast is the empire. So it's talking about an emblem of the empire. The mark, an icon of the beast, the caliphate. Who will take the mark? Let's just look at it this way. If the caliphate is advancing and capturing people, all of the willful followers in the caliphate will wear the mark of the caliphate, whatever it is. All the followers of the ten kings and those nations that start the caliphate and the ten kings, they're all going to wear that mark, whatever it is, of the caliphate, an icon representing the caliphate. Now, they're going to go out and conquer Egypt. Let's just say the caliphate goes out and conquers Armenia and brings all of Armenia into the caliphate. And let's just suppose, there's, let's just suppose people during the tribulation have gotten saved in Armenia, Right? And let's just suppose that they become now part of the caliphate. The caliphate's going to say to them, you can't buy and you can't sell. We're going to starve you to death or behead you if you don't want to be part. Armenia is now in the caliphate. And if you don't want to be part of it, that's fine. But you're either going to get beheaded or starved to death. That's what's going on here. And as you dig down a little bit deeper into Revelation 13, what it's basically saying is the call to prayer. When you hear 
the thing talking and calling to prayer and you don't bow down, you're going to be killed. It's almost like Nebuchadnezzar, what Nebuchadnezzar did, said to the Jewish people, you've got to bow down. They said, no, that's very similar to the way that Revelation 13 is. Only believers, unbelievers, excuse me, will take the mark. How many of you are glad for that? Well, first of all, let's keep in mind, you're not going to be here. We're going to be at the... Marriage supper of the Lamb in heaven, hallelujah. So my view is that the mark or the icon, which appears ten times in Revelation, is a representation or likeness of the empire. It could be like what the swastika was to Germany. It could be as simple as a headband. I would say to you that the Islamic world now is the only national entity that wears a headband and a mark on the right hand. You say, Tim, are you trying to tell me that this has nothing to do with computers and they're simply going to wear a mark on their forehead? And by the way, or their right, and it, the word is the right side. It doesn't have to be the hand at all. It's really like just the right side is the word there. If you walk into a store in the caliphate, you'd better have that on. And if you're a Christian born-again believer in the tribulation period that got saved, you're not going to have it on. Because God says everybody that takes it will die and go to hell. He says it repeatedly in the book of Revelation. So it is the demarcation of the saved versus the lost in the tribulation. Starve, be beheaded, or wear what they tell you to wear. You cannot buy or sell without the mark of the beast.